Hello folks, hey the old fisherman back with you. Today I'm gonna show you how I tie my knots uh, on my floor carbon or any line. Uh, what I'll do, I like doubling it, but I'll show you the way you probably can understand it better. I'll take it, go through one way, and then back through the opposite way. Just like that. So you got a double line right there going through the eyelet. And take, go up above it and take your finger and hold against all of them and take the, the, the uh, loop knot and, and go around it three times, at least three times. And this is hard to do on camera and with a bigger line. And so you got it three times underneath and then you take where you're doubling and go back through the loop. Okay, once you get it back through the loop, you cinch it down tight. You want to wet it on a regular line, but I'm just showing you with this big line. And when you pull it down, you come, you come up with three ends. See that knot? There's no way that knot's coming loose. You come up with three ends, and then you take your dikes and cut the three ends off, or your scissors. This is being trot line line where you can see it makes it a little bit difficult. But pretend that it's regular line and you see the knot. So you got three ends sticking up. That knot will not come loose. And uh, somebody was asking me to show how I tie my knot. You can't pull that knot loose. So I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that. I call it the old fisherman knot, but it's been out there for years. Uh, so I can't really put my name on it, but that's what I call it. But, uh, hey, go on a fishing trip today, Lake Monticello. It's a couple of weeks old, uh, leftover clip. We caught a lot of a lot of nice perch, but it didn't have one to bite. We had to mix and match different colors to make the fish bite, and that's what I do when I, with that three rig. It works out real good. You can keep mixing up colors and styles till you find one that they'll bite. But, uh, hey, go on a fishing trip. Hope you enjoyed the show. And, uh, hey, don't forget to tell your friends about the old fisherman. Let's go fishing. Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you once again on Lake Monticello. And uh, hey, we're gonna see if we can catch a couple. <coughs> there was a bite already. There's another bite. There he is. Hey, there he is. Starting fast. Fast and furious. Might be a bass already. First one of the day might be a bass. Possible. Possible. Now you got the net ready. I ain't got the net ready. <clears throat> First one of the day is a bass. We got two uh, <clears throat> swimming minnows on here this morning. Two and an eight swimming minnow. And the first fish of the day is a bass, if not two. Might be two bass. Might be two bass. Don't know. See if we can get them in here. They pulling, I'll tell you that. They pulling. Look at that. Hey, yeah, a perch and a bass. Look at that. Already today, first fish of the day, a perch and a bass. You got to love that. that what a start. What a start. Hey, how about that, folks? A perch and a bass right off the bat. No bass hit that blue and white shad, two and eight inch swimming mina. Right there. Hey, I'm gonna put him right here in the drum for a second. I got to crank up my live well. I found out <clears throat> that if they sit around in that live well and, and uh, they get back to good shape, if you throw them back right off the bat, scares the fish off, sometimes they don't wanna go back right off the bat. So uh, we're gonna crank up the live well Got to fix this shad. And uh, but glad y'all could be with me again on another episode of Love and Life. <clears throat> and we're trying to get this dog on a, I got a white and green on here this morning. Swimming mother, that's what this perch hit. And then that blue and, and white colored. Kind of like 
it's blue and gray at the top and then the white at the bottom. But hey, we got them down there. I'm gonna crank up this, while it's going down, I'm gonna crank up this live well. Go <clears throat> bear with me. Live wheel and chunk that bass under. Hey, we got them under as thick as hair on a dog's back right now. Hey, they everywhere. 39 foot and the whole bottom is covered with fish. Hey, the whole bottom's covered. I'm telling you. <coughs> Tilt this dog on camera back a little bit. That sun's bright again this morning. It's shining in my face. <coughs> we got them down there. I believe we can catch one. We just get it down and start reeling it. Hopefully. All right, let's see what happens. There he is, one hit it. There he is, there he is, you know, still hit Still hit it, I got it. As it's coming up, there's another bass. That, no, I, that might be a perch. As it's coming up, I keep wiggling it. There goes another one. I think it might just be one big perch, not one big perch. Look at that. I keep jerking it until they hit it. They come up and take it. Hey, we got to get it back down there. We got fish down there, buddy. Uh oh, that jig got messed up. Okay, drop back down. Got plenty of mine here. Might be a good start this morning. I tell you, it gets so hot up in the day here lately, we ain't been able to catch them up when it gets real hot. But it all depends on that water flow. In the last couple of days, the water ain't been flowing, so we ain't made much of a video. I mean, I've done some, but uh, hey, it was a big old pile of fish in here. Stay on them. Keep them biting. Keep them biting. All right, let's drop it to the bottom. Right there's the bottom. Let's see if we get another one. Uh oh, there he is. He hit it. He hit it. There he is. Tell you, they like that twitching coming on up. <coughs> it's what they like. When he gets up high and it starts twitching, they'll run up and get it. They'll run up and get it. That man was about tore up there. Uh-oh, then tore the first one up. We're gonna have to probably put some more minnows on there. It's hard to beat them slider jigs, them uh, swimming minnows. And I don't have a three-inch grub on there right now. I need one on there. I'll tell you that much. Need one on there. How long are they gonna bite before they quit? That's the thing. Sometimes they'll quit real quick. Sometimes they'll bite long enough you can fill up the drum. You never know. There he is. They bite, and I'll tell you that. There goes nothing. I believe. Usually them bass run up there and take that thing on up higher. A lot of times. We got two on. Two on. Look at that. Two at a time, you got to love it. They're hitting the day. I tell you, they ain't really fed that good the last couple of days for me. We caught a mess fish, but not a lot. Hey, throw it back down. We got them rolling. They under the too, buddy. They under the big time. They under the. I got some new colors I want to try out. Matter of fact, I got a I got a little metal looking thing here I want to try out. I hadn't tried it yet, and then we got the, a little. It's a. Uh, I don't even know the name of it, color. It's a kind of a purplish looking black. I'm gonna try all that different stuff out. Hey, uh, tell you what, they love it twitching coming up. That's a new way I found out to catch them. Twitch that thing coming up nice for it too. Good ones. Uh oh, I believe we got a knot on this one. Doesn't have to work right. Good. We're gonna catch one more out of them now, I'll tell you that. Cook or not, we got them all up on us. They all up on us. <coughs> they all up on us. Need to put that bass back there in the live well. If I can get on them, let's put him back there right quick. 
we recuperate, we pull them back. See that? That bass again. Put him back in, in the good water. You'll be fine. They get well back there. I tell you with that water flowing over them. Okay, let's see if we can get another. Uh oh, not that time. Drop back down. They might quit on them. I don't know how they do. They slick calm today, too. But they stirring up right now. All right, folks, we're back at it again. I dropped down. I put a four-inch shad on there. I never used it. I don't know if I'll catch anything with it. It's mighty big. But uh, we got us a perch on the top, man. We got a four-inch shad. I was thinking that bass might hit it better, but it's not too big. I'm going to take it off. I don't much like that thing. It's too big. We got to go smaller. I got a new color here I want to try. On the swimming man, it's kind of like a, I don't know the name of it, but it's a kind of a brownish, green looking, purple mixture. It's a weird color. We're gonna give it a shot. If they bite it, I'll tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. Drop it back out. Let's see if they'll bite that thing. Got a few perch and a few bass hanging around here. I don't see them this second though. They, they're tapering off, it looks like. Got to get them back on us. That initial spurt, and then I got the knot in my line, I had to retie. By doing that, they left. It's all it takes, just a little bit of time messing around, and you'll get off these fish. These fish will leave you. You gotta keep them stirred up. And it's hard to do sometimes by yourself. If you had another person in the boat dropping lines out, continuously dropping lines out, it'd make it even better. So oh, there was a bite. One bump. You guys got to find them again. They're out there somewhere. Right, there's a couple right there, right on the bottom. Might not like this new color. There he is. We got him. We got him. We got him. I don't believe we got but one though. I ain't sure. I ain't sure. I know we got one. One bigger. But we don't have him on the new color. We got him on our on our swimming mill. We might be asking too much with this new color. Brownish looking thing. I ain't too crazy about it. Drop it back out one more time. I don't get a bite. If I catch another on that top metal, we're going back to swimming metal. That's what they want. Swimming metal is what they want. <clears throat> There's some down there. I see them raise up when the jig gets down there. There he is. There he goes. We don't have one on that bottom jig now. We're gonna take it off. Put a swimming metal back on the bottom. Or either. Yep, they ain't hitting that bottom jig. They don't like that color. Want something light. They want something white or light. That's what they want. Ain't no doubt about that. They telling me what they want. They gotta pay attention to them. They don't want this. Take that off. <clears throat> Let's put us a say, uh, Monkey milk. Monkey milk shed at the bottom. See what happens. This one has been sitting up here about toe up, but we're gonna try to catch a fish on it. Now we got a monkey milk and a uh, blue back shad on the Surprised we ain't got one bass on. Huh? That's okay. Them bass come and go. A lot of times the bass will run the perch off, I think. They run the perch off. And big bass do. They, they hit it. They is. They is. There he goes. There's another. 
I bet you I got him on the bottom jig. I tell you, it makes a difference what you're fishing with, see? On the bottom jig, when I just put on the monkey milk. They like monkey milk, no, no question, because it's creamy color, light color. We had one on the top, he pulled the jig down. Then about tore this jig up up here. We got to get another color, another type in here. I ain't find one. There's a pink. I don't think they like pink. I tell you what, let's put the dog on swimming mud up there. See what happens. We do some experimenting now. I'll experiment in a minute. That's the way you learn what they want. I used to do that with crappies. Crappies quit biting, I'd change the jig and catch them again. You got to keep changing. So far, any light colored jigs, whites with whites or, or blues in them, been working. And get one that time. Might not get to the bottom on that one. You got to get down to the bottom and then work it up. Most of the time. All right, there's the bottom. And there, there was a bite. Uh oh, bad sign. Nothing to bite. Uh oh, they don't like that other jig on us. How about that? We put us a swimming mint on there, and I can't catch one. I have to go back and hunt up another jig. Right there's a Tennessee shag color swimming metal. metal. I'm about to use up all of them. I got to get some over them. Oh, that was a bass. He just got off, too. That was a bass stump, that thing. I don't know what he hit, but it was definitely a bass. Try it again. Slacked off on me. Talk gone that time. Still a few down there. They ain't down as thick as they were. There you go. Hit it on the way down. You hit it on the way down. They hit that dog gone swimming men is what they want. They don't want that other stuff. We got to put another swimming men up there. They ain't hitting the other jig. They ain't, they ain't hitting the three inch men. We got to get another swimming men from somewhere. The right color. Now, there's a white with a yellow tail. Let's try it. I think they'll hit that one. I ain't got but a couple funky monkeys left. Let's try that white with the yellow tail. I believe they'll hit that one.
Tell you what, you got to get it on there right now. If ain't on there right, she won't, they won't bite it. All right, let's put it out there. I'll be there to hit that one. There's some bass right there. Right on the bottom, bass. We're going through these jigs now, I'll tell you that. that time, drop back down. Get some down there, lay right on the bottom. You're getting her interested. What they doing? There you go. There you go. There goes the nudding. There goes the nudding. There goes the bass. There goes the bass. Old the bass will run up there and get there. I think, I don't know, it might be a big perch. That's a big perch, unless he got off. Now I got him stirred up again. I got him stirred up again now. Two perch, bigger perch. Look at that white perch. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ow, calm down. Big old perch. Whoppers. Tear my dog on jig up. All right, let's put it back down there. Are we catching a few? Could be worse. They'll come and go though. They ain't staying on me. Let's keep that circle swing going. That jig going at the bottom, I see them raise up off the bottom at it. They gonna bite it when I pull it, I bet you. Watch this. There you What I tell you? What I tell you? There he goes. There he goes. White perch. Calm down now. Tell you that white with the yellow tail is working really well. Really well. Up back down. got them all up under us. Might not even have to move. We might make a video right here, right now. But I can tell you, they ain't hitting that three inch mill a good day as they did the other day. They is. Hey, they killing it, ain't they? We got this boat going in a circle and they killing it. There goes another. They go, that's some good ones out here. Water must be moving this morning. They're biting better today than they did yesterday or the day before. No doubt, a lot better. That's why you get have a bad day in this lake. You better come back because the next day might be a good day. These jokers are off and on. They're on all the time. When they on, they on. I'll tell you that. They're probably biting everywhere today. What I'm betting. Probably biting everywhere today. Drop back down. Loving life. Hey, don't take nothing for granted, people. Take something simple and enjoy the goodness of something simple. Don't overlook simple, because simple sometimes is best. Tip for the day, sometimes simple is best. Having more ain't best. Simple and enjoying life is best with no pressure. Having too much and can't pay for it is pressure. Remember that, remember the old fisherman told you that. Once you get in that trap, never get out and every day that goes by and you ain't enjoying yourself struggling, trying to make a dollar is a day gone work all your life retire and die so hey you're better off enjoying the simple things and not getting too overwhelmed with debt that's all i got to say look down to going hey old fishermen definitely enjoying simple things right now and that's fishing it ain't simple to catch them 
But when you go enough and you figure them out, it's fun. I don't mind telling you, it's fun, 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 fun. That jig's want to twist a little bit. Hey, we got fish under us like crazy. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I should try to do, I'm trying to work on something. Maybe a mirror behind my fish finder will reflect back to me. Um, you, know, you can see me and the fish finder at the same time. I'd like for y'all to be able to experience what I'm seeing while I'm catching. But it's so doggone hard to try to get you to see the fish. It's, uh, it's aggravating. You see me catching them though. I'm laying it to them. I am laying it to them again today on this lake. It's funny, you come over here sometimes, you can't find them. Then you come over here and they're everywhere. It beats anything I've ever seen. Today, we're using the two and an eighth inch swimming miller, which in my opinion is the best darn jig there is for a perch. That inch and a half is good too. I got a lot of, it wouldn't hurt me to have another swivel on my lines on the way down. And I probably should about halfway, but the only thing about it is, is more ties. More ties means more opportunity to break. But we got fish all up on us right now. It's, it's nothing but a flat bottom and the yellows with purples mixed in it with hooks. It's almost like the bottom comes up. You got to know what you're looking at, but it's so simple once you figure it out. And you ain't going to see this till you start catching them most of the time. They lay so tight at the bottom, you can't see them. You got to be catching them for them to raise up or stir it up or beat the boat and they'll stir up sometime. But you got to be uh, catching them. They fish all around us. Less, I'm seeing a few bass, most of them perch. Right there's some bass right there. The bass is bigger hooks up higher most of the time. A little bit higher. Uh-oh, what happened? No bite. We own them too. Ain't hitting now. And that's where they'll get now. You catch them for a little bit, and then all of a sudden, look at that big old shad that spit up. Big old shad. That's what they feed on, big shad. That's why them bigger jigs is, is good. Now we ain't catch them on no jig. And quit. There they are right there, though. If we own them, it's just a matter of catching one. What it is. Now they're getting one to bite it. They quit biting all of a sudden. For some reason, I got used to my jig or something. But they there. Not hit. Got to change over. There you go. Finally. He nailed it. He nailed it. One at a time, though. They're pretty good ones. It's tough to really make a knot, and I don't like it. I don't know why it's making knots, but something ain't right about this thing. much like the way that looks. It ain't quite right. There's a bunch of them right there. Bunch of them come up. Bass, some bass in that. Bass in that. I might get us a bass out of this. See I started twitching it, he nailed it. Uh-oh, something just broke off. I believe I had a bass. I do have a bass, and one just broke off, I think. I think I got a bass. I started twitching it, he nailed it. Couldn't stand it. Big bass, too. Good bass. Look at that. Look at that. Broke doesn't know. We had two bass, huh? I'll tell you right now. 
This thing will not hold them. That line will not hold them. I got a project with a dog on a, some kind of other line. He bit the yellow and white and uh, yellow and white. I got a project with some heavier line or something. I've tried it before and it didn't work, but we're gonna try it again. I'm tired of breaking off. All right, folks, we got retired. Took a while, but I put 10 pound tests on that one on, on one of my lines. So we got eight and ten, that still probably break off. Might not bite it. I tell you, I have seen them not bite it when you change one size bigger in line. You, they quit biting. I don't know if it's a coincidence or what. But we got 10 on the bottom line now, and we got fish still here. There he goes. Oh, one hit it. There he is again. We got him, so maybe they ain't gonna hurt. There he is. Ain't got but one, though. Them bass is what give me a fit. Oh, that might be a bass. That is a bass. He coming up. That is a bat. Oh, Lord, he's behind the boat. That's my prop. He's coming up. Here's a bass. Let's see if we can get him in here. Ain't no big one. Ain't a bass. Oh, it's a perch and a bass. Oh, Lord, I'm trying to knock him off, I believe. A perch and a bass. Big old perch. Big old perch and a bass. Look at him. Look at him. Come here, boy. Come here. Look at that. Big old perch and a bass. Huh. You got to love it when you can do that. Doggone jig come out. The bass is on the uh, Tennessee Shad 3 inch, and the perch, he's a whopper, is on the uh, uh, blue shad, smoke shad. Smoke shad. Smoke blue. Look at that water perch. We ain't got all the fish now. Winds done pulled me off. Trying to figure out where I was at. We was on them. I ain't on them no more. All right. Oh, we got to put the bass up. While that's going down, we got to put the bass up. Sorry about that. I about forgot about the bass. See that? Let's put him in the live well for now. Let him recuperate. As soon as I turned the camera off, it's one hit it. See what we can do with him. Nice one too. Monkey milk. The monkey milk I just put on the and it's not in good shape. This dog on jig up here is making me hot. It's getting around everything. It's getting around everything. It's not working right. Hey, we got some down now. People wonders. 35 foot. Thirty-five foot. There's the bottom. There's the fish. One hit it. We had a bump. There he is. He nailed it. He nailed it. Oh yeah, that's a good one. There goes a the bass. There goes a the bass. Oh, big perch. One. Something hit it. Something hit it big. Two perch, two perch. Look at that, two perch. That joker, that had it now. Nice and I'll be back down, get them done. Moved in a little bit shallower. They might be a little shallower, 35 foot. Let's go to the bottom and see what we can do. There's the bottom. There's the fish. That simple. That simple. You get on them, it's that simple. Oh, we got them down there now. We cut them down there now. Come on in here, boy. Come on in here to the old fisherman. Two at a time. Look at that big old slab perch. Look at the size of them perch. Huh? Look at the size of them perch. Them big ones, ain't they? 
Oh, my, them beggars. <clears throat> them good ones. Hey, can't beat it with a stick. Can't beat it with a stick. Drop it back down, see if we get them mud. Drop it to the bottom with a big boy's lie. We got 84.7 degree water temperature and 34 to 35 foot deep right here. We're dropping it down and reeling it in is all we're doing. Stay if he hit it. He hit it, didn't take it though. Run up after it. Run up after it. All right, let's see if we can get a nut in the bike. Get it to the bottom, reel it up. There you go. They like that little twitching coming up now. I can tell you that. There he goes. Hey, that's a good one. That might be a bass. I ain't sure. Nope, whatever it was just got off. The big one got off. We have one to get off. We have one to get off. Tearing up my jig. This jig right here ain't worked right all day. I do not know why. But it don't want to work right. It looks okay, but it's twisting my line up. Alright. Get it back down. Catching a few. You got to love a few. We got a uh, braid line on here, and uh, and then we got monofilament, eight pound test and, and a 10 pound test line off the two. And there it goes again, there it goes again. See if we can get, uh-oh, we got, got off. I was trying to get two to go slow and he got off. Messed myself up. Messed myself up. We got them under us though. I want to get one as soon as I start pulling it. He might have, he might have messed my, line, my jig up a while ago. I think he did. No? They still there. There you go. There you go. There you go. There's nothing. There goes a nothing. We got two. We got two. We got two. Look at that. Two at a time. Calm down, boy. That one that tore up my jig. The mushroom milk's destroyed. It's destroyed, I'll tell you that. Ow. Put it on spotlight. We're going to have to put another jig on. It tore up my jig. All right, there's another do Let's see if we can catch one on it. Kind of fading away out there now. I don't see them like a deer. That's not a good sign. Not a good sign. Fading away. I don't see them. Well, let's pull the break temperature record again today. I think it's supposed to be 98 in October. Hard to believe. Them poor guys are starting to deer hunt. I don't know how they're going to do it. Look down there going, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one, big old perch. We got them under us. No question about that, we got them under us. We got them under us. 
nice one too, boy. That one is a big one. I don't know if I'm swimming him in the boat or not. That's a big one. Look at him, what, two perch? Look at him, folks. Look at that, what, two perch? You talking about jumbo magnums? That right there, my friend, is a whopper. That's a pound and a quarter or more. Might be more. Monkey milk got him. It's almost a pound. Nothing wrong with either one of them. Good perch. Hey, let's get it back out there and catch another good perch. What y'all say? All right, folks, drop it back down. I think I got a few under me. You never know if they're going to bite. I see fish. That don't mean they'll bite. Let's see if we can get one going. Yep, there he is. There he goes. And there goes two. There goes two. Look at that. Oh, my. Uh oh One might have got off. I'm not sure. He might have just kicked out. Uh, I believe I got two. We got two. Good ones, too. Look at that what jumbos. Look at that what jumbo magnums. My goodness, what jumbos. We changed around. I put the inch and a half uh, metal slider jig on top. It's a regular inch and a half. It's the uh, blue ice and chartreuse. You can see if that makes a difference. that makes a difference. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. Ow. Got a biting fly at him, biting my leg. Them things hurt too, buddy, when they bite. They don't play. There he is. Hey, we got the combination now that they want. It's funny how you got to keep changing around and get the right combination. We got the right combination out there now. Lake Monticello catching them two at a time and they jumbo magnum too, buddy. I mean, big ones. Look at the big old perch. Look at these big old perch. Look at these things, huh? Look at that. It's pretty, ain't it? You see what I got him on? Blue ice and chartreuse. And then they got the oh, bunky milk swimming mana at the bottom. I took, I've been trying to use that uh, three inch there today, but today it's kind of scaring them away. It's funny. Different days. I tell you, different areas, you never know what size shad they're feeding on. So you got to change around. They might be feeding on sh a smaller shad in here. In this particular place. Oh, I know one thing, I got a biting fly that hurts. He's biting him. This thing like a dog, dog on mosquito biting him. All right, drop it to the bottom where the big boys and girls lie. See if we can get another. Uh oh. Got off of them again. I tell you what, they don't stay long. You'll see them and they're gone. That quick. I think they're just roaming around out here. You got to get on them. What it is. You got to get on them, catch them. There he is. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. What? That is a good one. Oh my. That is a nice one, there, buddy. There's some good ones out here. Mm. I mean, some good ones. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that jumbo magnum again. Look at that. Oh, my. Them pretty, ain't they? Hey, they, they pretty. They are pretty. Up to the bottom with a big boys and girls lie. Man, I love catching these perch. It's just a fun being out here. And them bass when they get them fun too. Ain't no bass right here, it don't look like. I don't know. I ain't seeing any bass here. Like an old perch. Let it go to the bottom and start reeling, that's all we should have to do. Uh oh, there he is. They hit it. There he is again. Got him that time. Tell you what, you get it up off the bottom, you start twitching a little bit, they can't stand it. Now, that's a nice one too, buddy. Big old perch. Look at the size of that sucker. Look at the size of that sucker. Man. I mean, whoppers. Monkey milk. Mm -hmm. No. Two and an eighth inch. And like I said, I'm up here. I'm this thing's still twisting up on me. I don't know what's wrong with this thing? 
Something's twisting up. I'm gonna have to put me another swivel on here. That jig ain't running right. But it's catching fish. Hey, it's not run right, right as long as it's catching fish. It ain't that much. Got the back catching nothing. Catching nothing. All right, see if we get another bite. Drop it to the bottom, right there's the bottom, that's really there. At that time, they there too. Put a slant on the line. Just put a slant on the line. Let's put a slant on the line. We'll catch one this time. He hit it. He hit it. He come and get it though. He hit it. They all in at 34 foot. All over the place. Come on, there he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. That joke nailed it. He nailed it. He nailed it. I mean, that's a good one. What? Got Bone Daddy in the water. Hey, hey, Bone Daddy. Look at him. Big, big, super dog virgin. Look at him. My goodness. Huh? Look at that. Slider jigs. Tearing it up again. Ouch. Come on, boy. Get off of that. Get off of that. Them big old perch, that buddy. Them filet monsters. Keep the dog mag. Whatever you want to call them. All right. Pull back up. Man's got me pulling now. We moved down a little shallow. These fish are a little shallow. Believe it or not. They ain't a little shallow. See, if we keep catching them, they gonna quit in a minute. It ain't that deep, yeah. Probably gonna scare them off. Right there's the bottom. See if we can catch one. There he is. Oh, he hit it. There he is again. We got him that time. We got him that time. Hey, day. Look at yonder going. Look at yonder going. My goodness. Hey. Loving life, old fisherman here. I can tell you that. He's laying it to him, ain't we? I mean, laying it to him. Can't be no good, no better than this. Nice size, biting fast. Hello, oh, folks. The old fisherman back with you. Hey, thanks for watching the video today. We uh, had a pretty good day. We caught about 60 white perch. And uh, I don't know if you can see them or not in this cooler, but. Uh, you see right there, the cooler's full. I got a drink there and a hunk of ice on top. But well, we got some jumbo magnums in there. And, uh, hey, thanks for being with me on another episode of Loving Life. And, uh, hey, we're going to release them bass. Let's see what, how they're looking. Oh, yeah, they're looking good. They're looking good. Look here. Here's number one we're going to release. He's probably about three and a half. I'm going to turn him over here. And I hope you can see it. Let's see if he'll go back. Oh, yeah, he's swimming off. He's swimming off. Let's get number two. Let's get number two. He's probably about two and a half pounds. About two and a half. Go on, buddy. There he goes. Hey, he's going to bite another day. All right, we got four is what we got. This is his wiggling. Hey, he's probably about three pounds. We're gonna let him go. There he goes, uh-oh. Uh-oh, come on, boy. There he goes. There he goes. You gotta get his bearings. There he goes. Oh yeah, he's all right. He's all right. Okay, let's get the last one. The last one. 
that's one. He's probably about two and a half, three pounds. Make sure he goes back. Go on, buddy. Go on. Here he goes. Get his bearings. He's gone. He's gone. Hey, thanks for being with us on another great day of fishing on Lake Monticello. Hey, remember, enjoy all your scenery around you and take in all the good stuff. Hey, make sure you don't overlook good things, simple things, and enjoy life. Hey, we'll catch them on another day, hopefully. And thanks for being with the old fisherman on another episode. We'll see you.